Professor. A professor is a scholarly teacher. The precise meaning of the term varies by country. Literally, professor derives from Latin as a person who professes being usually an expert in arts or sciences, a teacher of high rank. In much of the world, including most Commonwealth nations and Northern Europe professor is reserved only for the most senior academics at a university, typically a department chair, or an award a chair specifically bestowed recognizing an individual at a university or similar institution. A professor is a highly accomplished and recognized academic, and the title is in most cases awarded only after decades of scholarly work to senior academics. In the United States and Canada the title of professor is granted to a larger percentage, about a quarter, of scholars with doctorate degrees or equivalent qualifications who teach in two and four year colleges and universities, and is used in the titles assistant professor and associate professor, which are not considered professor level positions in many other countries, as well as for full professors. Beyond holding the proper academic title, universities in many countries also append famous artists, athletes and foreign dignitaries with the title honorary professor, even if these persons don't have the academic qualifications typically necessary for professorship. However, such professors usually do not undertake academic work for the granting institution. Tasks Professors are qualified experts who generally perform the following. Manage the teaching, research and publications in their departments, in countries where a professor is head of a department, conduct lectures and seminars in their specialities, that is, they profess, such as the fields of mathematics, science, humanities, social sciences, education, literature, music or the applied fields of engineering, design, medicine, law, or business, perform advanced research in their fields, provide pro bono community service, including consulting functions, such as advising government and non-profit organizations, teach campus-based or online courses adopting instructional technology, mentor graduate students in their academic training, conduct administrative or managerial functions, usually at a high level, for example deans, heads of departments, librarians, etc., assess students in their fields of expertise. Online courses are often taught by adjunct instructors, with advanced degrees. Adjunct instructors are often not involved in program design, accreditation reports, or many of the other duties that fall within the purview of tenured, or more senior faculty members. Tenured professors also offer courses online. Other roles of professorial tasks depend on the institution, its legacy, protocols, place, country, and time. For example, professors at research-oriented universities in the U.S., Canada and, generally, at European universities, are promoted primarily on the basis of research achievements and external fundraising success. Depending on the professor's professional status, expertise, and tenure, he or she may also serve as a public intellectual, offering opinions to media and in other forums on current events, controversies, and other complex matters that may require erudite illumination. Tenure. A tenured professor has an appointment that lasts until retirement age, except for dismissal with due cause. A common justification for existence of such an unusually privileged position is the principle of academic freedom, which holds that it is beneficial for state, society and academy in the long run if scholars are free to examine, hold, and advance controversial views without fear of dismissal from their jobs. Some argue that modern tenure systems actually diminish academic freedom, forcing those seeking tenured positions to profess conformance to the same views, political and academic, as those awarding the tenured professorships. According to physicist Lee Smolin, it is practically career suicide for a young theoretical physicist not to join the field. This may be even more so now that many universities require several years in non-tenure track positions, for example visiting assistant professorships or postdoctoral fellowships, before beginning the five to six year process preceding tenure. Another argument against tenure is that tenured professors underperforming in research or teaching cannot be terminated, so typical performance-oriented management techniques from the business world such as reviews, audits, 
and incentive-based salaries are the only tools available, as the threat of firing does not exist without due cause. Nevertheless, many tenured faculty members are expected to and most do obtain research funding. Around the world Australia The system of academic titles and ranks in Australia follows the British system. There are five levels, A.E. These are Leveler, Tutor, Level B, Lecturer, Level C, Senior Lecturer, Level D, Reader Associate Professor, Level E, Professor. These levels correspond to salary levels set by the Australian Government's Higher Education Academic Salaries Award, 2002. There has been a significant increase in academics at Level D and E, Associate Professor and Professor, in recent years. The number of academics at these levels increased by 70% from 1996 to 2008. In order to receive the title of professor, the applicant must pass each university's minimum standards statements and promotion policies, which are derived from the Higher Education Academic Salaries Award. Three key attributes are examined, recognition, distinction and leadership. Leadership in research is arguably the most important. Some universities also expect leadership in developing the curriculum and in the teaching and management of staff and students. The difference between professor and associate professor is that there is less of an imperative to demonstrate leadership qualities for the title of associate professor. Still, in order to receive the title, it is required that the applicant has made an outstanding contribution and that the applicant is usually recognized at a national or international level. In some universities, the title of professor and associate professor can also be conferred with appointment to a senior management position without the need for an extensive academic record or a research higher degree. This has been criticized. Adjunct and conjoint professor is an honorary title bestowed upon a person to formally recognize that person's non-employment special relationship with the university. Emeritus Professor is a title bestowed upon a retired person who has rendered distinguished service to the university. They have nearly always held the title of professor at the university. Half the universities in one study specified that the person needed to have served at least 10 years at the university. Some universities have other titles such as Emeritus Educator and Emeritus Scholar. Once the Emeritus Professor title is bestowed, the title is normally for life though it can be repealed for failing to abide by university regulations. Bangladesh Teachers are categorized in four main classes in Bangladesh at university level. The ascending rank of teacher is lecturer, assistant professor, associate professor and professor. The initial position lecturer is generally enrolled as the top student of the class. Master's degree is required for normal university level lecturer. After PhD, the appointment starts with assistant professor, then gradually associate professor and professor depending on research teaching experience. Beside these, professor of emeritus is given to extraordinary professor after their retirement. Brazil and Portugal See more on, Academic Rank Brazil, Academic Rank Portugal in Portugal, France, Italy, Romania and Latin America. Spanish and Portuguese speaking, the term professor, professor slash professor slash professor slash professor is used for anyone teaching at a school, institute, technical school, vocational school, college or university, regardless of the level of the subject matter taught or the level or ages of students. This includes instructors at the grade elementary school, middle school and high school levels. However, a professor who teaches at a university is specifically called professor universitario, university professor, but it is common to call university professors just professor. As subtypes of professors the following are distinguished. Professor Catedratico, Portugal, slash professor titular, Brazil, full professor. It is the highest faculty position, professor associado, Portugal and Brazil, associate professor. In Portugal, this position is open by public competition among assistant professors and people with PhD for at least five years. In Brazil, it refers to a faculty member who has completed a habilitation thesis in public examination, Professor Agentu, Portugal and Brazil, 
This tenured position is an intermediate position between associate and assistant professor, requiring a PhD, professor auxilia, Portugal and Brazil, professor requiring only a master's in the beginning of his her career. In Portugal it requires SPHD or a SJD, after a five-year contract, may become a professor associado or dismiss the university, professor substituto, it is a replacement teacher with a short-term contract for replacement of professors on maternity leaves, sabbatical years or other temporary situations, professor visitanti, the same as visiting professor usually conducts research as an obligation from its contract and so needs a Ph.D. Canada In Canada, where a major distinction is made between college and university level education, the term professor is generally restricted to use within universities. Tenured and tenured track positions These full-time faculty members engage in both undergraduate and graduate teaching, mentoring, research, and service. Only faculty members in these positions are eligible for tenure. Assistant professor, an introductory level professor. A position generally taken after receiving a PhD and completing a postdoctoral fellowship. After four to eight years, assistant professors will be either tenured or dismissed from the university. Associate professor, a mid-level, usually tenured, professor, professor sometimes referred to as full professor or senior, tenured professor, distinguished professor or endowed chair, for example, the Brian S. Smith Professor of Physics an honorary position in which a full professor's salary may be increased, perhaps by being tied to an endowment derived from the university, private individuals, firms, or foundations. The top administrative post in many academic departments is the department chair. Prior to the 1970s, such administrators were called chairmen, or chairwomen, but the term in most institutions has since been shortened to the gender-neutral chair. While many department chairs also hold endowed chair positions, the two positions are distinct. Educators who hold a formal title of professor, referred to as tenure-tenure-track faculty, typically begin their careers as assistant professors, or lecturers and senior lecturers with subsequent promotions to the ranks of associate professor and finally professor. The titles are historical traditions. For example, it is not implied that an assistant professor assists more senior faculty. There is often a strict timeline for application for promotion from assistant to associate professor, most often five or six years following the initial appointment. Applicants are evaluated based on their contributions to research, teaching and administration. The relative weightings of these contributions differ by institution, with PhD granting universities usually placing more emphasis on research and liberal arts colleges placing more emphasis on teaching. The decision to grant tenure and promotion from assistant to associate professor usually requires numerous levels of approval, with a common sequence being external reviewers. Several nationally or internationally prominent academics in the candidate's field will be asked to review the candidate's application for promotion and submit a confidential report, based on this report and evidence of the candidate's accomplishments in his or her curriculum vitae, a committee of members from the candidate's department will make a recommendation for tenure promotion or denial of such, the department will vote, the department decision is communicated to a university panel of individuals from outside of the department who evaluate the application and decide whether they agree or disagree with the departmental recommendation, the dean, the board of governors president or other upper level governing body. A decision to reject a candidate for tenure normally requires that the individual leave the institution within a year. Otherwise, tenure is granted along with promotion from assistant to associate professor. Although tenure and promotion are usually separate decisions, they are often highly correlated such that a decision to grant a promotion coincides with a decision in favor of tenure, and vice versa. Promotion to associate professor usually results in an increased administrative load and membership on committees that are restricted to tenured faculty. Some people remain at the level of associate professor throughout their careers. However, most will apply for the final promotion to full professor. The timeline for making this application is more flexible than that for assistant to associate positions and the associate professor does not normally lose his her job if the application is rejected. 
as with promotion from assistant to associate professor, promotion from associate to full professor involves review at multiple levels, similar to the earlier tenure promotion review. This includes external reviews, decisions by the department, recommendations by members of other departments, and high-ranking university officials. Usually, this final promotion requires that the individual has maintained an active research program, and excellent teaching, in addition to taking a leadership role in important departmental and extra-departmental administrative tasks. Full professor is the highest rank that a professor can achieve, other than in a named position, and is seldom achieved before a person reaches their mid-forties. The rank of full professor carries additional administrative responsibilities associated with membership on committees that are restricted to full professors. Non-tenured track positions Individuals in these positions typically, though not always, focus on teaching undergraduate courses, do not engage in research, except in the case of research professors, may or may not have administrative or service roles, and sometimes are eligible for job security that is less strong than tenure. They may still use the pre-nominal title professor, and be described by the common noun professor, whether or not the position title contains the term. Likewise, the term and structure is very generic and can be applied to any teacher, or it can be a specific title, tenure or tenure track, depending upon how an institution chooses to use the term. Teaching Assistant, TA Graduate Teaching Assistant, GTA, Course Assistant, CA, Teaching Fellow, TF, or Graduate Student Instructor, GSI, positions typically held by graduate students. TAs play a supportive role involving grading, review sessions, and labs. Teaching Fellows, and at some universities, TAs or GSIs, teach entire courses. Adjunct instructor slash adjunct professor slash adjunct lecturer slash sessional lecturer, primarily Canadian, part-time, non-salaried, non-tenure track faculty members who are paid for each class they teach. This position tends to involve professionals employed elsewhere full-time or retired professionals, and does not always require a completed PhD, lecturer instructor, a full-time or part-time position at a university that does not involve tenure or formal research obligations, although sometimes they choose to perform research, but can often involve administrative service roles. This position does not necessarily require a doctoral degree and usually involves a focus on undergraduate and or introductory courses. In some colleges the term senior lecturer is awarded to highly qualified or accomplished lecturers. A convention some schools have begun to use is the title teaching professor, with or without ranks, to clarify that these are in fact true faculty members who simply do not have research obligations. Visiting professor, with ranks, A, A temporary assistant associate full professor position, see above, for example to cover the teaching load of a faculty member on sabbatical. B, a professor on leave who is invited to serve as a member of the faculty of another college or university for a limited period of time, often an academic year. Research professor, a position that usually carries only research duties with no obligation for teaching. Research professors usually have no salary commitment from their institution and must secure their salary from external funding sources such as grants and contracts. These are often known as soft money positions. Although research professor positions usually are not eligible to be awarded tenure, their ranks parallel those of tenure track positions, like clinical professors. That is, research assistant professor, research associate professor, and, full, research professor. Retired faculty Retired faculty may retain formal or informal links with their university, such as library privileges or office space. At some institutions faculty who have retired after achieving the rank of professor are given the title Professor Emeritus, male, or Professor Emerita, female. Czech Republic and Slovakia The title of professor is a pedagogical academic title, Pedagogico Akademiki Titel, awarded to university teachers holding a PhD degree or equivalent who excel in a specific field of science and have special merits in both research and university teaching. Excellent scientists who do not teach at a university, 
but work in a research institution, for example, do not receive the title of professor. The title of professor is indicated in abbreviation in front of a holder's name, for example Prof. Jan Svejer or Prof. M. U. D. R. Joseph Kautecki, DRSC. The title of professor is awarded to a particular person on the basis of the recommendation by a university, in particular, by its scientific committee, Bedecker Rudder, which is accredited to do so by the Accreditation Commission, Accreditacnicomise, of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport, Czech Republic, Ministerstvoskost v. Mladiza Televikovi. The recommended nominee is promoted to professorship by the President of the Czech Republic through the Minister of Education, Art. 76 of Higher Education Act, Act No. 111-1998 Col. The system of awarding of the title of professor means that the title is not bound to a position at a university, for example a director of a department, and vice versa, one is not required to be a professor to hold a high-ranking position at a university. A university must have a certain number of professors and docents among its staff to receive accreditation for its study programs, but these need not necessarily be heads of departments or university faculties. According to the Higher Education Act, No. 111-1998 Col. The nominee's qualifications are assessed by at least five professors, specialists in the field or a field similar to the field in which the nominee is to be pronounced a professor. At least three of these professors must be from universities other than the nominee's one. An important precondition set by the law is that the nominee must already have the title of docent. The procedure of qualification, habilitacne process, leading to the awarding of the title of docent is similar to the one leading to professorship. Docents are pronounced by the head of the university, rector, accredited to pronounce docents in a particular field. The Ranking System of Teachers at Czech Universities Assistant is usually a doctoral student or a graduate of a Ph.D. Study Program Odbany Assistant is usually a graduate of a Ph.D. Study Program with some teaching and or research experience. Docent has finished a Ph.D. program and has been awarded the title of Docent after their work and contribution to science or scholarship had been scrutinized by an assembly of five professors and docents. Professor has been pronounced a professor after being pronounced a docent. Other professors In the past, there were two titles of professor recognized in Czechoslovakia, predecessor state of today's Czech Rep and Slovak Rep. University professor, university professor, secondary school professor, Stridoskalski professor. Awarding of both of these titles was regulated by law before the World War II. The title Stridoskalski Professor ceased to exist after the war. However, there is a type of secondary school, gymnasium, where the students still address to their teachers as professors, professori, out of tradition. Colombia In Colombia the words in Spanish Profesor Profesora are used indistinctly for teachers at primary or secondary schools, synonym of maestro maestro, docent, or university professors. However there is the more specific designation as University Professor Professor Universitario, or Docent Universitario. The current government regulation for University Professor is by a national law, Decree 1279 of 2002. In that law, the complete conditions, scales and degrees, as well as salary calculations for University Professors are regulated. To be selected as University Professor requires to apply to a public open call containing requirements inside the institution and the experience profile of the candidate must be the one matching best. The process to evaluate, review and select from the total applicants from a competitive basis is performed by a commissioned university council consisting of university professors, and includes several tests in research project formulation, teaching tests and CV and interview evaluation. Briefly, there are four main scales for such permanent positions, as direct tenure employees, and public servants of a particular legal status inside the state contracting rules, auxiliary professor, professor auxilia, assistant professor, professor assistant, associate professor, professor associado, and full professor, professor titular, the highest professorship position considered in the Colombian public system, 
usually conferred to an individual with a long verifiable experience as a researcher or as a university professor, usually an academic with the highest postgraduate education title available in the university system, doctor, equivalent to a doctoral degree such PhD. USA, or doctor, Germany. More than 10 years of certified teaching at university level, or equivalent time of recognized scientific work and production. Given the large amount of private universities in the country, those institutions hire new professors following many of the rules set in this public law for scale and salary calculations. There are university professors contracted per hours docent to occasional, supernumerario, o visitanti to teach specific courses, similarly to lecturers, and while they may have the high qualifications and perform eventually research activities, they are not official employees of the institution and they do not have proper welfare working conditions, pension costs covered or hours for class preparation financed. Denmark In Denmark the word professor is only used for full professors. An associate professor is in Danish called a lector and an assistant professor is called an adjunct. Before promotion to full professorship, one can get a time limited, usually five years, post as an MSO, Professor Metzelizhov Gava, or Professor with Special Responsibilities. The post of Professor with Special Responsibilities involves fixed terms specific functions as well as duties that are otherwise associated with professorships. The qualification requirements correspond to those of ordinary professorships. This position gives time for the school to raise funds for the permanent professorship. An additional step between lector and full professor is docent. A docent has the same work as a professor but they do not actively take part in senior administrative duties, such as heading a department. The Danish PhD does not come with a title. Only the local docent, after a similar extended thesis to the German docent, brings the right to be addressed as doctor. Egypt Public universities have five ranks for faculty members, Emid, Muid. Equivalent to teaching assistant, MDRS Miss D, Mudaris Musaid. Equivalent to senior teaching assistant, MDRS, Mudaris. Equivalent to assistant professor, STDH Miss D, Ustad Musaid. Equivalent to associate professor, and STDH, Ustad. Equivalent to professor. Teaching assistant, academic departments hire teaching assistants by either directly hiring the top ranking students of the most recent graduates, or publishing advertisements. Once hired, a teaching assistant must obtain a master's degree within five years of commencing employment. Otherwise, s he must either leave the university, or be transferred to any administrative department that s he is qualified for. Teaching assistants' duties include preparing and delivering tutorial and lab sessions, preparing assignments and term projects requirements, preparing and conducting laboratory examinations, and tutorial quizzes, and co-supervising graduation projects. Senior teaching assistant, after a teaching assistant obtains a master's degree, as he is promoted to a senior teaching assistant. Usually, the duties do not change but the salary increases slightly. To keep her his post, a senior teaching assistant must obtain a doctoral degree within five years. Otherwise, s he must either leave the university, or be transferred to any administrative department that s he is qualified for. Assistant professor, once a senior teaching assistant obtains a doctorate, s he is hired as an assistant professor, and receives tenureship. Assistant professors' duties include delivering lectures, supervising graduation projects, master's theses, and doctoral dissertations. Associate professor, after at least five years, an assistant professor can apply for a promotion to the rank of associate professor. The decision is based on the scholarly contributions of the applicant, in terms of publications and theses and dissertations supervised. Professor, after at least five years. An associate professor can apply for a promotion to the rank of a professor. The decision is based on the scholarly contributions of the applicant, in terms of publications and theses and dissertations supervised. Academic duties of associate professors and professors are nearly the same as assistant professors. However, 
only associate professors and professors can assume senior administrative posts like a department chair, a college vice dean, and a college dean. Finland Finland's system is similar to the traditional German system in that there is a limited number of chairs for professors, professori, who head research groups and take part in administration in addition to lecturing. The rank of Apulais Professori, assistant professor is in use. Fulfillment of the professor's post often requires that the previous professor has retired. Qualifications for a professor are a doctor's degree and an extensive independent publication record. The degree of licentiate, licentiate, does not qualify. For example, in medicine, the common degree equivalent to a medical doctor is a licentiate degree. Additional research and study is required for the degree called Lorcatiatin Tochtery, Doctor of Medicine. The professor level position of docenti is similar in required qualifications, but has fewer or no administrative responsibilities and may be combined with work at a company or another university. The alternative translation for docent is adjunct professor. Junior educators are not called professori, but by other terms such as assistanti, assistant, latri, lecturer, opetava taltkaja, teaching researcher, or iliopisto opetaja, literally university teacher. The same applies to researchers, taltkaja, etc. Various finer distinctions have been introduced in recent years, such as iliopistonitary, university lecturer, a tenured lecturer's position that requires a PhD and involves some research commitments. Researchers and professors funded by the Academy of Finland are generally styled accordingly, Akademia Tutkija, and Akademia Professori, Academy Researcher and Academy Professor. France After the doctorate granted by a university, and most frequently several years of non-tenure postdoctoral positions, scholars who wish to enter academia may apply for a position of Metro de Conferences, MCF. Lecturer. To get this position they must first be approved by the National Council of Universities, made up of elected and appointed MCFs and professors. Then, the recruitment procedure is performed in each individual university mostly by a selection committees composed of other MCFs and professors, half from the university where the position is open, half from other universities, rather than by administrators. The salary scale is national and invariable from one university to another. However, a recent reform allows salary modulation in the universities but at the moment this possibility has not widely been applied. After some years in the position, MCFs may take an habilitation to officially supervise PhD theses before applying for a position of professor des universites, university professor in their home university or in other institutions. Their suitability for such a position will be judged by the National Council of Universities, restricted to full professors. Each individual application is examined by a selection committee, composed exclusively of full professors, mostly on their published original research as well on teaching and administrative duties. In the past, this required a higher doctorate, state doctorate. In some fields such as law, management, gestion, and economics. Candidates take the aggregation competitive examination. Only the higher ranked are nominated. Both MCFs and professors are civil servants. However they follow a special statute guaranteeing academic freedom. As an exception to civil service rules, these positions are open regardless of citizenship. There also exist equivalent ranks as state employees, non-civil service, for professors coming from industry. These ranks are Metro de Conferences Associé Professor de Universites Associ, past, depending on the professor's experience. Teaching staff in higher education establishments outside the university system, such as the École Polytechnique, follow different hierarchies and career paths. Germany, Poland, etc. In the 20th century, after their doctorate, German scholars who wish to go into academia usually work toward a habilitation by writing a second thesis, known as the habilitation strift. This is often accomplished while employed as a Wissenschaftlicher Mitarbeiter or Wissenschaftlicher Assistant, Scientific Assistant, C1, 
or a non-tenured position as a Kadmisha Rat, assistant professor lecturer, both three plus three years teaching and research positions. Once they pass their habilitation, they are called private docent and are eligible for a call to a chair. Since 2002 many paths may lead to a full professorship. One can reach a professorship at a university by habilitation, a successful evaluation as a junior professorship, after two to three years, or equivalent performance. In engineering this is often attained through expert knowledge in the industry, and in natural science often by the number and quality of publications. In addition to the traditional universities there are also Fachhochschulen FH, as institutions of higher education and research, mostly referred to as University of Applied Sciences, UAS, since a new salary scheme was introduced in 2005, there are both W2 and W3 professors for the Fachhochschulen as there are for the old universities. Hence, the formal differences have been completely eliminated. In general a professor at an applied university has not gone through the process of habilitation or junior professorship. Sure he applies for the position after the doctorate and at least three years achieving expert knowledge in the industry. Usually a professor at an applied university is more focused on teaching while a professor at a traditional university is more focused on research. Note that in Germany, there has always been a debate about whether professor is a title that one may retain for life once it has been conferred, similar to the doctorate, or whether it is linked to a function, or even the designation of a function, and ceases to belong to the holder once she or he quits or retires, except in the usual case of becoming professor emeritus. The latter view has won the day, although in many German lander, states, there is a minimum requirement of five years of service before professor may be used as a title, and is by now both the law and majority opinion. Similar or identical systems as in Germany, where a habilitation is required, are in place. For example, in Austria, the German-speaking part of Switzerland, however in Switzerland the term is used as a more general honorary title in the Universities of Applied Sciences, the Fachhochschulen, as well as in Poland, Slovakia, Hungary and Slovenia. In Poland, Professor is an academic title required to obtain the position of full, ordinary, professor. An extraordinary professorship is lower ranked, and does not require the professor title. Main positions Professor, prof since about 2002 the standard title for full professors at traditional universities and applied universities in Germany, Professor Ordinarius, Ordentlicher Professor, O. Prof, University. Prof professor with chair, representing the area in question. In Germany, it's common to call these positions in colloquial use C4 professorships, due to the name of respective entry in the official salary table for beamed, civil servant. Following recent reforms of the salary system at universities, you might now find the denomination W3 professor. Today in most German federal states this title is obsolete for restaffing. Since 2002 all full professors at universities and applied universities are called professor. In some federal state like Baden-Württemberg it is still possible for professor at a university to make application for the title university. Prof under special conditions, professor extraordinarius, extraordinary professor, o ordent licher professor, o. Prof professor without chair, often in a side area, or being subordinated to a professor with chair. In Germany, it's common to call these positions in colloquial UC3 professorships, due to the name of respective entry in the official salary table for beamed, civil servant. Following recent reforms of the salary system at universities, you might now find the denomination W2 professor, or W3 professor without chair function in the state of Baden-Württemberg. Often, successful but junior researchers will first get a position as O. Prof and then later try to find an employment as O. Prof at another university. In Prussia before the First World War, the average salary of the full professor, ordinarius was double that of an associate professor, extraordinarius and up to nine times that of the professor starting his career, Professor Emeritus, Prof M. Just like in North America, see above. Used both for the ordinarius and for the extraordinarius although strictly speaking only the former is entitled to be addressed in this way. 
although retired and being paid a pension instead of a salary, they may still teach and take exams and often still have an office. Junior Professor, John Prof an institution started in 2002 in Germany, this is a six-year time-limited professorship for promising young scholars without habilitation. It is supposed to rejuvenate the professorship through fast track for the best, who eventually are supposed to become professor ordinarius. This institution has been introduced as a replacement for the habilitation, which is now considered more an obstacle than quality control by many. Being new, the concept is intensely debated due to a lack of experience with this new approach. The main criticism is that junior professors are expected to apply for professorships at other universities during the latter part of the six-year period, as their universities are not supposed to offer tenure themselves, unlike in the tenure-track schemes used, for example, in the USA. Recent studies have found that both the interest in applying for junior professorships D, and the willingness of academic institutions to create these positions has declined since they were first made possible. Other positions. Honorary professor, um prof equivalent to the Dutch extraordinary professor, non-salaried. An honorary title, not related to any sort of honorarium. Conferred upon the person by a university for particular merits, often and outside university or through long-term commitments, for example, continued teaching, at the institution that confers the title. A on prof is obligated to lecture on a small scale. However, this is sometimes circumvented by title holders, especially since the title became popular among executives. Osiplin Masiga Professor, April. Prof or Prof either a tenured university lecturer or a former private docent to whom the title is given if she or he has done excellent research before and after the habilitation but has not attained a regular chair. The word Osiplin Masig, extraordinary or supernumerary, literally means outside of the plan and denotes that he is not paid as a professor but only as a researcher. Nonetheless as a member of the faculty he or she is obligated to lecture and conduct examinations and often supervises doctoral theses. This position is common in particular in medicine but also in social and cultural disciplines. Private docent, PD, extraordinary member of a faculty who has passed the habilitation, state doctorate, as to say the second dissertation. This title may also be awarded to a former junior professor and is comparable to the English American associate professor. He or she is obligated to lecture and conduct examinations, often without pay, and is entitled to supervise doctoral theses. Lubov Tractor are paid part time, for example, two hours per week in a semester, teaching position for scientists in general with non university position who often holds a PhD. Lubov Tractor is sometimes comparable with an adjunct professor or an associate professor. Although comparable, it is not considered a professor position in Germany, but Tratungsprofessor is a professor who substitutes a vacant chair for a limited amount of time, mostly one or two semesters. Very often academics with a habilitation, who use this job as a changeover position before getting this particular job in a tenured way or before getting a tenured professorship at another institution, gast professoran, a visiting scholar. If he or she lectures he or she is sometimes also called a visiting professor. Further, a visiting scholar can also work as a vitratungsprofessor, senior professor, distinguished senior professorship, a special arrangement where a professor close to retirement is freed from the requirement to lecture and does only research. His or her salary is already paid from the pension fund, as if he or she retired early, and part of his previous regular salary is often used to hire a young successor to gradually take over the senior professor's work. Other professors Some other uses of the title professor. Professor is an honorary title in some countries using the German-style academic system, for example Austria, Finland, Sweden. Professor is also an honorific title that can be bestowed upon an artist, scholar, etc., by the president or by the government, completely independent of any actual academic post or assignment. Employment title outside the universities, in Germany, some civil servants like directors of certain public museums or research-oriented public institutions bear an employment title which contains the word professor. Examples, Präsident und Professor des Bundesinstituts für Reisegebäude Tung, 
President and Professor of the Federal Institute for Risk Assessment, President und Professor der Stiftung Deutsches Historisches Museum, President and Professor of the Foundation German Historic Museum, Gymnasial Professor, High School Professor, Senior teachers at certain senior high schools in some German states and in Austria were also designated professor in the late 19th and early 20th century. In Austria, tenured high school teachers are still called professor. However, it is unclear whether Austrian high school teachers starting their career today will have equally easy access to tenure when they become older. Hungary the Hungarian higher education system distinguishes two types of institutions of higher education, Egedem, University, and Fuaskala, College. Therefore, the requirements and also the salaries for professorships differ. The official minimum requirements of appointment are regulated according to the CCIV. Act of 2011, National Higher Education Act. The regulations of certain universities, however, may require more than the minimum. Hierarchy of University Professorships, Top to Bottom Egetami Tena, or Professor, University Full Professor, being nominated to the title of University Professor requires PhD degree, or CSC. Habilitation, Dr. Habel, is also required unless the candidate has equivalent international experience in higher education. If a candidate fulfills these requirements, the rector, and the senate, of the university starts the process of nomination by sending the proposal to the President of Hungary via the Minister in Charge of Higher Education. University professors are appointed by the President of Hungary and their appointment can only be withdrawn by the President. Attaining a professorship at a university requires such appointment beforehand. University professors may retire later than other professors, they are allowed to work until the age of 70 as opposed to the usual age of 65, Egetami Dossens, associate professor, requires doctoral degree, PhD or CSC, and a minimum of 10 years spent in higher education. However, if the candidate is a habilitated doctor, the minimum years requirement is waived. The appointment and the process remains within the university, associate professors are appointed by the rector of the university or the dean of the faculty. Some universities, for example ELTE, may require additional degrees, habilitation, to accept a nominee as an associate professor, Egetami adjunctus, assistant professor, an awarded doctoral degree, PhD or CSC, is required, Egetami Tanast, junior assistant professor, appointment does not require a doctoral degree, only a master's degree or equivalent, however, enrollment in a doctoral program is a requirement. Hierarchy of college professorships, top to bottom. Fuaskalitana, college professor, requires doctoral degree, PhD or CSC, and a minimum of 10 years of experience in higher education. If the candidate is a habilitated doctor, the minimum years requirement is waived. The process of nomination is the same as that of the university professor except that college professors are appointed by the Prime Minister of Hungary. Their appointment can also be withdrawn only by the Prime Minister, Fuaskalai Dussens, College ASUK. Prof. Doctoral degree, PhD or CSC, is required, Fuaskalai Adjunctus, College Assist. Prof. The candidate must be in the candidacy, ABD, phase of the doctoral program, Fuaskalai Tanast, Col. June Assist. Prof. Requirements are the same as that of their university counterparts. The title Professor Emeritus Emerita is awarded to those appointed university professors, who reach the age of retirement but are prominent scholars of their fields or have done much in favor of the university, faculty or department. Awarding such titles is at the university's discretion. Universities and colleges may also award honorary professorships with less strict requirements. These honorary titles are distinguished from their ordinary counterparts by placing chimseats, Honorary, literally titular before the appropriate title. Iceland In Icelandic universities, especially the University of Iceland, professor is the most senior ranking teaching position. Below professor is docent, then lector. This three-step hierarchy is akin to the U.S. scale, of full, 
associate and assistant professors. Until early 1990s no upward mobility was available in the Icelandic system. Most university teachers were hired as professor. A docent, or a lector wishing to ascend to a higher rank had to apply for a new position when it became available. Currently, since 1990s, much more university teachers are hired as junior rank lector, and are promoted to docent, and professor if their work proves worthy of it. India The Indian Institutes of Technology, IITs, and the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, IISC, follow the US-style three-tiered academic system, with an extremely strict requirement for entry-level positions compared to the US. NASSTT Professor's position requires a PhD and at least three years of postdoctoral experience. Applicants with less experience are appointed to a contract position, which is similar to a non tenure track position in U.S. universities. Early reviews for promotion to associate professorship can be conducted in the fourth year of employment, although, it is becoming more common for promotion and tenure to be awarded in the sixth year of employment. The review requires a certain number of journal and conference publications, recommendations from reviewers in India and abroad, and an exemplary record of teaching and service. The IISC, the highest ranked science and technology institute in India, has a promotion and tenure system, almost identical to that of the United States. The institute also has a well known bias towards recruiting US PhDs, typically with IIT undergraduate degrees compared to PhDs from India. Promotion to the position of, full, professor, also requires an extensive review with many people remaining at the level of associate professor throughout their careers. Other universities, there are two routes to enter academia, one through direct selection by a university or college, government or private, and the second through competitive selection by a centralized commission. The Commission's selection is based on scores for MAMSC, National Eligibility Test, and ET, conducted by University Grants Commission, India, and the Public Service Commission interviews. There are three faculty ranks Assistant Professor, Associate Professor, and Professor. The earlier designations of Lecturer, equivalent to Junior Assistant Professor, Senior Lecturer, equivalent to Assistant Professor, and Reader, equivalent to associate professor, have been abolished from 2009. From 2009, AICTE norms have abolished the posts of lecturer, and senior lecturer in technical courses, leaving only assistant professor, associate professor, and professor posts. At present a postgraduate can teach as assistant professor, but tenured positions are available only if S he has cleared the eligibility test, an ET. To get a promotion to associate professor at least three publications, in a reputed journal, are required for a postgraduate or at least one publication for a doctorate holder. The doctorate is mandatory for direct recruitment to associate professor. Only doctorate holders can become professors. Those with postgraduate degrees with other eligibility criteria, viz. net set PhD etc. are allowed to teach in undergraduate colleges, postgraduate or university level. The salary of the three-tier professors with academic grade pay AGP, has been fixed by Sixth Pay Commission of 2006, in Indian rupees, 1 US dollar equals INRRS 50, assistant professor, RS 15,600 to 39,100, AGP, RS 6,000, total amount, RS 45,000 slash per month, associate professor, RS 37,400 to 67,000, AGP RS 9,000, total amount, RS 80,000 slash per month, Professor, RS 37,400 to 67,000, AGP RS 10,000, total amount, RS 82,000 minus 120,000 slash in Professor, HAG, RS 67,000 to 79,000 limited only to 10% in equivalent grade of additional Secretary Government of India. In the medical colleges of India, such as the All India Institute of Medical Sciences AIIMS, the term professor is used for the senior most teaching faculty. The postgraduate trainees are called junior residents, 
while the term senior resident is used for those who are in a teaching post after their postgraduate training. Alternately, a senior resident is one who is enrolled in a superspeciality training such as DM in neurology or MCH in cardiothoracic surgery etc. After senior residency of three years, a doctor is eligible to apply for the assistant professor post which is usually a regular appointment and a permanent job in GOVT colleges. He then gets promotions every three to five years to associate professor, then as additional professor, and finally becomes a professor. Usually a professor, or in the absence of a professor, an additional professor, is the head of the department. Iran Holders of master's degrees when granted to teach in a college. Emma B. Y. Holders of Ph.D. degrees. Assistant Professor, STDYR. Associate Professor, DNSHYR. Full Professor, STD. Iraq. Holders of master's degrees can be, in ascending order. Assistant Lecturer, Lecturer. Assistant Professor, STDH Misty. Professor, STDH. Holders of PhD degrees can be, in ascending order. Lecturer, Assistant Professor, STDH Misty. Professor, STDH. Note, holders of PhD degrees are automatically promoted to lecturer if they were assistant lecturers before they received their PhD. Israel. The ranking system combines the British system and the German one. There are four faculty ranks rather than three, lecturer, Martz, senior lecturer, Martz Becker, associate professor, professor Kaver, and full professor, professor Minhar Minyan. The two lower ranks are similar to their counterparts in the British system. The two higher ranks originally had German rather than American equivalents, professor Kaver was comparable to professor extraordinarius, while professor Minhar Minyan was the equivalent and Hebrew translation of, Professor Ordinarius. Traditionally, lecturer is equivalent to the American Assistant Professor rank, senior lecturer with tenure is equivalent to the American Associate Professor rank. Promotion from lecturer to Associate Professor rank usually entails tenure, but not always. Tenure, not guaranteed, is granted after four to seven years, depending on institution and academic achievements. A Professor Caver is comparable to the American Advanced Associate Professor. Some academics never become a Professor Minhar Minyan. The academic programs of the university are controlled by a Senate, of which every full professor is a member, as well as representatives of other ranks. Israeli universities do not, as a rule, grant tenure to new hires, regardless of previous position, rank, or eminence. A candidate is considered for tenure together with promotion to the next highest rank, or after a year for initial appointments made at the rank of full professor. In 2012 the Techneum began granting senior lecturers the title of assistant professor, prof. Mission, in alignment with the standard American terminology. This was done after faculty members at the rank of senior lecturers had complained that they felt belittled at international conferences when compared to their American peers bearing the title assistant professor, because lecturer sounds less impressive than professor. This move was considered controversial at other Israeli universities, which retain the senior lecturer ranking, because it was conducted unilaterally by the Techneum without coordination with the other universities. Jordan. Universities in Jordan borrow from the U.S. higher education system. Whether public or private, universities have five ranks for faculty members, MDRS Miss D, Mudaris Musaid. Equivalent to teaching assistant, MDRS, Mudaris. Equivalent to senior teaching assistant, Ustad Musaid. Equivalent to assistant professor, STDH Miss D, Ustad Musharik. Equivalent to Associate Professor, and STDH, Ustod. Equivalent to Professor. Teaching Assistant, a teaching assistant must have a master's degree before commencing employment. The duties include preparing and delivering tutorial and lab sessions, preparing assignments and term projects requirements, preparing and conducting laboratory examinations, and tutorial quizzes, and co-supervising graduation projects. 
senior teaching assistant, after a teaching assistant hired, as he is promoted to a senior teaching assistant after submission to two accepted papers for publication. Usually, the duties do not change, but the salary increases slightly. Assistant professor, doctorate equivalent holders can be hired as an assistant professor, and receives tenureship. Assistant professor's duties include delivering lectures, supervising graduation projects, master's theses, and doctoral dissertations. Associate professor, after at least five years, an assistant professor can apply for a promotion to the rank of associate professor. The decision is based on the scholarly contributions of the applicant, in terms of publications and theses and dissertations supervised. Professor, after at least five years, an associate professor can apply for a promotion to the rank of a professor. The decision is based on the scholarly contributions of the applicant, in terms of publications and theses and dissertations supervised. Academic duties of associate professors and professors are nearly the same as assistant professors. However, only associate professors and professors can assume senior administrative posts like a department chair, a college vice dean, and a college dean. Kenya Kenya's Universities Act of 2012 defines an academic staff as a person appointed to teach, train or to do research at a university and any other employee designated as such by the University Council. The definition of professor is left to each individual university. Professors are primarily senior members of university teaching and or research faculty. Generally, there is no clear distinction between research and academic. However, the University of Nairobi has a tradition of appointing faculty in both the research and academic streams, thus, junior research fellow equals assistant lecturer, research fellow equals lecturer. Associated Professorial Research Fellow equals Associate Professor and the Professorial Research Fellow equals Professor. Both the Associate and Full Professors must have PhDs or a qualification considered equivalent. In the Moore University and University of Nairobi where they have a longer history offering medical qualifications, a post-medical qualification Masters of Medicine, M.Med. is considered an equivalent of a PhD in other fields. So a holder of an M.Ed. who has been a senior lecturer for three years, together with requisite publications and supervisions may be appointed associate professor, then full professor. In Moore University again, there is an example of a senior legal scholar and practitioner who was appointed full professor based on a personal evaluation. His long teaching experience, myriad academic and technical publications and his two L.L. Miss were considered as equivalents. Generally lower degree holders can not go beyond the senior lecturer level, however this is left for each university to decide. To be a full professor in all the Kenyan universities, one ought to have served as an associate professor for four year and at least three peer-reviewed publications in international journals or similarly considered technical publications. Technical patents too are considered. Postgraduate research supervision and outreach are also crucial. Outside of the appointive tenures, some very senior academic staff in the Kenyan universities do get baptized professor by their students or colleagues. This is because they are usually very senior, have mentored many, or they have achieved a lot of academic grounding without the benefit of promotions which can get gruesomely political. A lot of victims are those with solid research credentials combined with great teaching and outreach experience but have not acquired a PhD or equivalent for one reason or the other. The same also applies to some extremely productive young academics that have not attained the right longevity for appointment as professors. Many people from outside of the university fraternity might also just refer to any long-serving academic staff as professor. All these are usually acceptable without any question. Many people rightly argue that professorial appointments should not be based on longevity, loyalty or sheer availability of vacancies to be filled, but rather on prowess as evidenced by groundbreaking research, teaching and outreach. Professorship should not be a reward for loyalty. Whatever the criteria of appointment, it should remain a mark of highest academic and research pedigree, they assert. Mexico. The ranking system in most Mexican public universities is as follows. Professor Asociado a, 
Early Assistant Professor or Senior Postdoc, Professor Asociado B. Early Assistant Professor or Senior Postdoc, Professor Asociado C. Early Assistant Professor or Senior Postdoc, Professor Titular A. Equivalent to Assistant Professor or Lecturer, Professor Titular B. Equivalent to Associate Professor or Reader, Professor Titular C. Equivalent to Full Professor or Professor, Professor Emerito. Equivalent to Distinguished Professor, not to be confused with Emeritus Professor. For research institutions the levels are equivalent but the term Professor is changed to Instigador, Research and or Research Professor. Usually Mexican academics are also Fellows of the Sistema Nacional de Instigadores, SNI, that is four levels, Candidate, I, two and three, that more or less correlate, but are not equivalent, to the Asociado and Titular B and C professorships. The rank as professor is determined by the individual's institution while the SNI level is determined by an independent committee that evaluates the researchers nationwide. Netherlands The ranking system in Dutch universities is as follows. Universiteit Dussen II, abbreviated UD2, literal translation University Lecturer Rank II, equivalent to UK Lecturer and U.S. Assistant Professor, pay grade 11, Universite Docent 1, abbreviated UD1, Literal Translation University Lecturer Rang 1, equivalent to UK Lecturer, and U.S. Assistant Professor, pay grade 12, Universite Rolf Docent 2, abbreviated UHD2, Literal Translation University Head Lecturer Rang 2, equivalent to UK Senior Lecturer and U.S. Associate Professor Pay Grade 13, Universiter Rolf Docent 1, abbreviated UHD 1, Literal Translation University Head Lecturer Rang 1, equivalent to UK Reader, and U.S. Associate Professor Pay Grade 14, Hugo 2, or Professor, Literal Translation High Teacher Rank 2, Lowest Dutch Academic Rank allowed to use the title Prof equivalent to UK Professor, and U.S. Full Professor, Pay grade H2, Hugo R1, or Professor, Literal Translation High Teacher Rang 1. Usually Department or Sub-Department Chair. Equivalent to UK Professor, and US Full Professor, Pay Grade H1. In daily practice no distinction is made between Rank 1 and 2 in the Dutch ranking system. Each rank increase come with an shift in pay grade. Promotion from rank 2 to rank 1 within the same function is usually easier than moving to a differently named function. The title professor is protected by Dutch law and can only be used to address full professors, or emeritus professors, affiliated with a university. The title, or abbreviation cannot be used for any other teaching, or other, professional. A professor should have substantial research achievements and international reputation and is typically the head of a department or of a chair group within a department. Most academic staff will have both research and teaching duties. Although the ranks are often translated as if they were aligned with the American system, that is assistant, associate, and full professor, this not as clear cut. Traditionally a lecturer could only become reader or professor by applying for such a position if there was a vacancy. However, Dutch universities are moving towards a system closer to the U.S. tenure-track system to have more flexibility in responding to merits of individuals. In Dutch universities, permanent positions must be offered upon the third extension of fixed-term position or after six years of continuous contracts, whichever comes first, a rule which was instantiated to avoid permates. Dutch universities can also appoint professors occupying an endowed chair, Dutch. Bizonder Hugara, literally special professor on a part-time basis. Special professors usually have their main employment somewhere else, often in industry or at a research institute or university elsewhere, although special professorships can also be used to give a sitting reader a professor title. In the Netherlands the main benefit for full professor is the just promovendi which means that a full professor is always principal supervisor for any PhD project. Endowed professors have all the privileges of a full professor Jiwoon, who may give lectures on special topics, or can supervise graduate students who may do their research at the place of the professor's main employment. Due to this system, many university research groups will have several professors. The special professor, 
Bizonda Hugara, does not get paid by the university, but receives a salary from an external organization, such as a company, an organization or a fund. The former title Bhuteni Woon Hugara, professor by special appointment, literally extraordinary professor for a part-time professor is no longer used, since the 1986 reforms. All the then holders of such positions became part-time full professors. In 1986 the system was reformed and holders of lecture positions, to some extent equivalent to UK readers, were transformed into full professors, introducing a rank 2 professor at a lower salary scale than the existing professors. The present salary scales refer to Professor 1 or Professor 2, the former is the higher in standing. In the early 2000s the lecture position has been reintroduced at Universities of Applied Sciences for research group leaders aimed at applied research. Until that moment Universities of Applied Sciences had no research tasks. When a full professor retires in good standing, the professor becomes emeritus professor. This allows the retired professor to keep the title professor for life. An emeritus professor is allowed to supervise doctorate theses until five years after retirement. Some Dutch universities have also instituted university professorships appointing scientific ambassadors for the university as a whole, rather than representing a department. The Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences can appoint a professor to be an academy professor, a high honor for a sitting professor. Norway In Norway, the word professor is only used for full professors at universities or scientific institutions at a similar level. The title is protected by law, and may only be used by accredited institutions under certain conditions. The position below professor is called first amanuensis, first amanuensis, which is translated into English as associate professor, and requires a Norwegian doctoral degree, or similar competence. Traditionally, Danish and Norwegian doctoral degrees are considered higher doctorates. The position of docent, often translated as reader, applied to people of the same competence as a professor who did not hold a professoral chair, was abolished in 1985, when all docents received the title of professor. The title docent, Norwegian, docent, was reintroduced in 2006 to allow promotion based primarily on performance as a university level teacher. Docent is assumed to be equivalent to full professor, albeit different promotion criteria, and the Ministry of Education and Research uses professor in their English translation. The position below for steam amanuensis is called amanuensis, universitech lector or hogskola lector, which is translated into English as assistant professor, in a US context, or lecturer, in a UK context. Historically, Professors were appointed for life by the king upon the advice of the cabinet, that is, by the king in council. Due to the increasing number of appointments, this changed in 1989 when it became the responsibility of the individual institution to formally appoint professors. Historically there were a given number of professors and each professor was appointed to a specific chair. Currently each institution can establish professorships at will. In addition, each person with a position as an associate professor can be promoted to full professor provided that the person is qualified. All people who were appointed as professors must have their competence evaluated by a scientific, independent committee, and given professorial competence. Appointments usually are for life, although time-limited appointments are possible, especially if the position is externally funded. The mandatory age of retirement in Norway is 70, however. Professors who have turned 70 are required to leave their positions, but may continue to use the title, or Professor Emeritus Emerita, and in some cases may keep their office and access to university infrastructure as long as they are still active as researchers. Professor II Professors in Norway with part-time positions, 20% or less, are called Professor II. They usually have a different main job for instance as a consultant at a university hospital, as a professor at a different university or as a researcher at a research institute. While they only hold a part-time position as professor, they otherwise hold the same status as other professors, need to have the same competence as other professors, are styled as simply professor, not professor to, and are eligible to be elected deans of their faculty. 
as the title professor is used very restrictively in Norway only for the most senior academics, professor to positions carry high prestige, especially among doctors and researchers at research-only institutes outside the higher education sector. Within the field of medicine, most professorships are professor to positions combined with a position as consultant at a university hospital. Full-time professorships in clinical medicine are very rare. Pakistan The hiring of academic positions in public universities throughout Pakistan is managed by the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. The requirement for all positions vary with respect to the field of studies for example engineering, IT, medical, law, and arts and design. There are four faculty ranks lecturer, assistant professor, associate professor, and professor. In engineering public universities, a lecturer requires a MSc or BSc degree and high academic standing in the field, for example gold medalist, among top 15 students of graduating class. An assistant's professor position requires a PhD in relevant field and at least two years of teaching research professional experience. An associate professorship can be conducted in the fourth year of employment, although, it is becoming more common for promotion and tenure to be awarded in the sixth year of employment. The review requires a certain number May 8th 10 research publications, with at least one slash two quarters publications in the last five years, by the calendar years 2007 slash 2008 slash 2012 respectively, in HECPEC recognized journals. A professor requires 10 years post-PhD teaching research experience in an HEC recognized university or a postgraduate institution or professional experience in the relevant field in a national or international organization. It requires a minimum of August 12, 15 research publications, with at least 2-3-5 publications in the last five years, by the calendar years 2007-2008-2012 respectively in HECPEC recognized journals. Russia In Russia the university academic career to the rank of professor usually starts right after graduation. A graduate student can be recruited as an assistant, teacher, without having any formal academic degree. The only requirement is to graduate as a master of science or as a specialist, a specific Russian form of graduation after five to six years of study. Usually, but not obligatory, the newly recruited assistant goes through his PhD course, combining it with teaching undergraduate students, usually assistants have a right to give lectures and examine students in small special courses, or, they assist a professor, who is reading a general course. In that case they teach students during laboratory work, test their knowledge, etc. After three or four years of PhD course an assistant defends a dissertation. The preparation for the defense includes writing thesis, approximately 150 to 200 pages, which presents the results of his her own research work, done under a supervision of a professor. Several papers on the topic should be also published in Russian scientific journals accredited by VAK, see below. Finally, to be able to defend the thesis one should pass three exams, in his field of science, in foreign language and in history and philosophy of science. The defense itself is an official procedure and includes presenting the thesis to the dissertation council, several professors, including at least an appointed reviewer, two official opponents and the supervisor, who helped the assistant in conducting his her research. After the presentation the professors vote, and decide whether to recommend not to recommend the dissertant to the rank of candidate of science. The right for final decision belongs to the VAK, governmental commission, granting official academic ranks, but it usually follows the recommendation of the dissertation council. In rare cases the dissertant can be called to go through the defense in VAK. At last a person is granted with a title candidate of science, Russian equals candidat nork, which cannot be dismissed. As soon as the assistant gets the title he she usually goes to the post of senior assistant, which does not differ very much. But if the assistant had already written as many as ten scientific papers and developed some educational materials he she can get the rank of docent. A docent has a right to give lectures in some general courses and to examine students alone. Most academic careers finish at this stage. 
To go further one should write the second thesis, something very close to habilitation in Germany. The second thesis is a very big research work, which often takes more than ten years to be completed. The thesis is not limited in volume, but typically is around 300 pages, though some thesis which exceed 1,000 pages. It generally requires fundamental research or a new research direction in a particular field. It can be a summary of the candidate's previous research, but should be of significant scientific, cultural, or social value. Another requirement is to have a large number of publications and a monograph. In some cases a monograph can work as a thesis if not too narrow in research. The procedure of defense is similar, and at the end VAK grants won the title of Doctor of Science, Russian equals Dr. Nork. The title gives a person the right to supervise PhD students, and to apply for the rank of professor. The rank of professor also requires a number of papers, books and educational works. The number of graduate students, and, if there are such, PhD students who pass through the defense successfully is also taken into account, but usually by the time a person gets the Doctor of Science title, he she has accomplished a lot. The rank of professor is exceedingly rarely achieved at the age of less than 40. This rank gives one the right to hold a faculty chair position, to be an examiner, to take part in the university's council, etc. However, in Russia, holders of the Doctor of Science degree who work at research institutes of the Russian Academy of Sciences and are not involved in teaching students, lecturing, but mainly in scientific or technological research, may also apply for a professor in a speciality academic degree. Thus, there are two kinds of professor titles. First, there is professor by a chair, Russian equals professor po cafedri. For example, professor by the chair of microbiology, if the scientist has some required minimum of teaching hours per semester at this chair at a university or a higher institute, plus scientific publications and published educational papers, and has been nominated by this chair for the professor title to VAK. Second, there is professor in a speciality, Russian equals professor po specialnosti. For example, professor in physical chemistry, the list of specialities is the same as for dissertations. In this case, a person who has been holding a DSC degree for minimum one year, and has been working on a position of head of laboratory or leading scientist for minimum one year, does not need to have lecturing experience and published educational papers but should have a minimum of five PhD students who, under his her supervision, have successfully defended their canned sci dissertations, in which this speciality either was the main or, in part of them, constituted a substantial part of their research work in a closely related field. Besides that, the applicant should have a good record of scientific publications and other academic achievements. The learned counsel of the institute where the applicant for such a professor title works, upon his her primary application to this council, votes and decides whether to recommend or not to recommend to apply on behalf of the applicant to VAK. If approved by the learned counsel, the application is submitted to VAK which, usually within a few months, decides whether to approve or not to approve the title professor in the speciality. Serbia University career usually begins with an assistant academic position. Assistant assists to the professor or lecturer, helps in performing exercises or, sometimes, also gives lectures, under the supervision of the professor. Assistant, however, is not permitted to hold a chair, or to examine students alone. The level of the assistant does not require a PhD, but a magister, or, in recent times, a master degree. The next level is reserved for PhD. Holders only, except in the arts, visual, performing arts, music, film etc. where magisterium is the highest degree. It is called docent, in Latin instructor, lecturer teacher and is approximately equivalent to the assistant professor level in the English-speaking areas. Unlike assistant, docent is permitted to give lectures independently, to be examiner, supervisor of paperworks and theses, and to even hold a chair in a certain subject. It can also happen that more persons are employed within one chair, for example nuclear physics, a full professor, docent, 
and assistant for instance. In that case, the full professor is normally a chair holder, while docent and assistant are chair related. If this is the case, docent usually has some kind of dependence upon the professor, but still possesses much independence, unlike the assistant. After four or five years or more, exceptions are rare, and a significant scientific record, docent can be elected to become van Rednei professor, a regular professor, which is approximately equivalent to the associate professor position, or re-elected for the same, docent, position. The rank of the van Rednei professor is normally the minimal requirement for the highest faculty and university positions, such as dean of the faculty, member of the university senate or rector. In the process of electing an associate professor, just those members of the department, faculty or university, who hold associated or full professorship are able to vote. After four or five years and significant score of publications, Van Redney Professor can be re-elected for the same position, or elected into the next and the highest university and scientific title of Redervney Professor, regular professor the, full, professor. Redervney Professori, the full professors, are excluded from further electing processes, that take place for all other university teaching positions, normally after four or five years. The title of Emeritus Professor should usually be granted to small number of professors who had extraordinarily academic and scientific score, as well as to all former rectors. When students address teaching staff, they typically use the title Professor for everyone, including docents and assistants, and even for teachers in secondary education, gymnasiums, and other schools. The research positions equivalent to teaching positions are as follows. Narkni Saradnik, Research Assistant Professor, corresponds to Dusant, Basi Narkni Saradnik, Research Associate Professor, corresponds to Van Redney Professor, and Narkni Savetnik, Research Professor, corresponds to Full Professor. Similarly to teaching positions, researchers are elected to the next degree after typically five years. The first two positions are eligible to re election, while the highest position, Full Research Professor, is permanent. A set of regulations defines minimum quantitative and qualitative academic achievements for each of the research positions. Spain, University Level Selection Procedures In the past 25 years, Spain has gone through three university reforms, 1983, Leda Reforma Universitaria, LRU, 2001, La Organica de Universidades, LU, and 2007, a mere reform of the LU with several specific modifications of the 2001 Act. We can name them LRU 1983, LU 2001 and LU 2007. The actual categories of tenured and untenured positions, and the basic department and university organization, were established by LRU 1983 and only specific details have been reformed by LU 2001 and LU 2007. The most important reform these later acts introduced is the way candidates to a position are selected. According to LRU 1983, a committee of five members had to evaluate the curricula of the candidates. A new committee was constituted for each new position, operating in the same university offering that position. These committees had two members appointed by the department, including the secretary of the committee, and three members who were draws selected, from any university, but belonging to the same knowledge area. The LU 2001 and LU 2007 Acts have granted even more freedom to universities when choosing applicants for a position. Each university now freely establishes the rules for the creation of an internal committee that assigns available positions. However, the last reform also have introduced an external quality control process. To better understand these reforms, it is worth examining the situation both before and after 2007. The situation before 2007 was this, LU 2001 had established a procedure, based on competition at national level, to become a civil servant. This procedure, and the license a candidate obtained, was called habilitation and it included curricular evaluation and personal examinations. The external committee was formed by seven DRAS elected members, belonging to the same knowledge area, and fulfilling requisites related to research curricula, 
who could assign a fixed and predetermined number of habilitations similar to the positions requested by the universities. An applicant to a particular position in any university had to be habilitado, licensed, by this national committee in order to apply. Non-civil servants had a slightly different quality control process. A specific institution, called the Spanish Agency for Evaluation, Quality and Certification or ANECA by its Spanish acronym, Agency en Nacional de Evaluación de la Calidad y Acreditación, is, examined the applicant's curricula and issued them a positive evaluation called Acreditación, Certification, giving access to the exams to become a tenured civil servant professor. Today, following the LU 2007 reform, the whole process has been simplified, and both civil and non-civil servants need to achieve a positive evaluation of their teaching and research record by ANECA. Once the certification by ANECA is achieved, candidates can apply for the exams convened by each university to fulfill their vacant positions. The certification system introduced by the LU 2001 Act and particularly the 2007 reform, which requires the candidate to pass a demanding evaluation process at a national level for each category before applying for a position, has increased the standards of Spanish university professors to those of most OECD countries. The LU Act of 2001 maintained both traditional tenured and civil servant positions of profs titular, and catedratico de universitat, albeit it also introduced the new non-civil servant tenured position of professor contratado doctor, equivalent to a reader in the UK. Non-tenured positions include, professor asociado, a part-time instructor who keeps a professional career, for example in the industry, in a hospital or media, a udanti, a doctoral student working as teaching assistant, with limited and supervised teaching capacity, and Professor A. Udanti Doctor, a promotion from the latter, after completing the doctoral dissertation. Positions Under present legislation, LU 2007, only the following positions are available. Catedratico de Universitat, Professor with Chair, Tenured, Full-Time, Civil Servant, Penthouse D required, Accreditation Catedratico de Universitat required, only a Catedratico can be President of the University, Rector, European Union citizenship is required, Prof. Titular de Universitat, Professor without Chair, Tenured, Full-Time, Civil Servant, Penthouse D required, Accreditation Prof. Titular de Universitat required, European Union citizenship is required, Prof. Contratado Doctor, Tenured, full-time, not a civil servant, penthouse D required, accreditation professor contratado doctor required, professor Udanti doctor, non-tenured, full-time, not a civil servant, penthouse D required, accreditation professor Udanti doctor required, only for a limited period of time, Udanti, non-tenured, full-time, not a civil servant, no penthouse D required only for a limited period of time. Professor Asociado, depending on each case, can be a tenured position or not, part-time, not a civil servant, no penthouse D required. Professor Visitanti, non-tenured, not a civil servant, no penthouse D required, only for a limited period of time, visiting professor. Professor Emerito, non-tenured, not a civil servant, only for a limited period of time, works under the specific rules established by the employing university. Currently, a professor can be in one of the abolished categories, Professor Titular de Escola Universitaria, Professor Calabrador, but no new position in these categories can be created. Of these six categories of tenured positions, four imply becoming a civil servant, Funcionario. Catedratico de Universitat, usually the head of department, but not necessarily. Prof. Titular de Universitat, Professor, Catedratico de Escola Universitaria, fully equivalent in rank and salary to Prof. Titular de Universitat. This category has been abolished by LU 2007, and, Prof. Titular de Escola Universitaria, this category has been abolished by LU 2007. This last category was intended for instructors at technical schools and colleges without a PhD. The instructors currently in this category will be able to keep their job until retiring, but no new positions will be created.
the Catedratico di Escola Universitaria and the Profsa Titula di Universitad categories have been merged by the LU 2007 reform. The two di Escola Universitaria categories are intended mainly for teachers of three-year degrees, for example technical engineering, nursing, teaching in primary schools, while the two di Universitad categories include professors of any undergraduate or graduate degree. Retirement the retiring age for university professors in Spain is 65, just like all other workers. However, a university professor can work until he or she is 70, if he so wishes. Even then, they can apply for a professor emerito position. It is a non-tenured position and it has a limited duration, four additional years. Also, there are specific rules established by each university. Foreign Qualifications in Spain Spain places following requirements for recognition of non-European qualifications. People with a degree from a foreign school or university, even if they are Spanish citizens, must apply to the Spanish Ministry of Education and Science for a conversion into its equivalent to any of the current Spanish degrees. First, one's bachelor's or master's degree must be converted. After that, it is possible to apply for the conversion of the PhD degree. This procedure can take sometimes more than three years, and can fail if the courses taken by the applicant in his lower degree are too different from those required for the closest Spanish degree. For European citizens, there is a somewhat faster procedure called recognition, which can also fail, but it is only suitable for positions that do not require a curriculum evaluation by ANECA, that is, only the rank of Professor A. Udanti, people with a bachelor's degree who have completed a PhD immediately afterwards, that is, skipping a two-year master's, have found it impossible to convert their degree, since the duration of their bachelor's was three years, while the Spanish bachelor's degree holders cannot go directly for a PhD, being as it is necessary to hold a licenciatura, which would be the roughly equivalent to a master's degree. Although Spanish university students must study the three years that would grant the bachelor's degree in any other country, they will very rarely be awarded a bachelor's degree, diplomado, and will have to study until finishing the full master's degree, which lasts from four to six years, four years for some degrees, including law, economics and physics, six years for others, like architecture, engineering and medicine, in addition, a penthouse D course, Curso de Doctorado, a compulsory course, similar to an MPHIL, that students must undertake to be able to defend their dissertation, in Spain lasts one to two years, but it usually takes two or more additional years to successfully complete and defend one's dissertation. Being a tough process as it is, statistics show that only about 5% of master's degree holders go for a PhD, and, all in all, only 10% of them accomplish it successfully with the vast majority dropping it while in the PhD course, similar to the all but dissertation phenomenon in English-speaking countries. These statistics are considerably higher for people studying technical or scientific subjects such as engineering, physics, medicine, etc., and the main reason of this is that getting a PhD in these cases only takes about three years, with a course structure very similar to those of the English-speaking world. In other areas, such as law, history, or economics, PhD rarely are awarded before six years of research, and in these cases dissertations tend to be considerably lengthier than those in the English-speaking world. Furthermore, to become a professor of civil servant type, the applicant must be a European citizen, or be married to a European citizen. As a last consideration, besides a good knowledge of the Spanish language, in regions such as Catalonia, the Balearic Islands, Valencia, the Basque Country and Galicia, a knowledge of the official regional language, for example Basque, Catalan, Galician, may be required. This is a constraint to mobility for university professors in Spain, together with low salaries, see below. Sri Lanka The appointment of professors follows the British system and is governed by the University Grants Commission regulations. A points-based system considers contributions to the research field, national development and institutional development. Several types of professorships exist. Professor Emeritus, 
on retirement at the age of 65, senior professor, professor, associate professor. Professor positions are clearly separated from other junior faculty positions such as, in seniority order, senior lecturer, grade I, usually PhD and six plus years service, senior lecturer, grade II, usually a PhD and two plus years service, lecturer, usually with PhD, lecturer, probationary, assistant lecturer. Sweden See also academic rank in Sweden. The academic terminology for titles and positions at universities in Sweden includes the following. Adjunct, a university teaching position, often part-time, that requires at least a bachelor's degree but does not require a PhD. Similar to the adjunct instructor and in some cases to assistant professor in the USA, lecturer in the UK, doctor, an academic title that entails a research education, typically involving publication of scientific articles and successful defense of a doctoral thesis. Equivalent of a PhD, for SCAR assistant postdoctoral research fellow, or research associate. A research position that requires a PhD, and is typically undertaken following a PhD in order to qualify as a docent. Similar to assistant professor in the USA, lector, a teaching position that requires a PhD. Broadly similar to associate professor in the USA and senior lecturer in the UK, docent, an academic qualification that requires a PhD, and typically entails documented scientific independence via additional publications beyond those required for a PhD, teaching experience, and training in teaching and scientific mentorship. The title of docent is typically a formal requirement for being a main supervisor for PhD students and for serving as a member of an examination committee for evaluation of a doctoral thesis. It is broadly equivalent to the title associate professor in the USA. In UK docent is broadly equivalent to reader or first lecturer. In Germany it is broadly equivalent Dr. Habel. In Denmark docent is broadly equivalent to Dr. Phil, professor, requires a PhD degree, a strong publication record, proven teaching skills, and supervision as main supervisor of PhD students who have obtained PhDs. It is similar to a tenured, senior, full professor in the USA. The exception being professors of artistic subjects that can be appointed without the requirement of a PhD. In Sweden only full professors are addressed as professors. All others are addressed by their academic rank or academic degree. The United Kingdom Ireland and other English-speaking countries. In the United Kingdom, like most Commonwealth countries, excluding Canada, and Ireland traditionally, a professor held either an established chair or a personal chair. An established chair is established by the university to meet their needs for academic leadership and standing in a particular area or discipline and the post is filled from a short list of applicants. Only a suitably qualified person will be appointed. A personal chair is awarded specifically to an individual in recognition of their high levels of achievements and standing in their particular area or discipline. In most universities, professorships are reserved for only the most senior academic staff, and other academics are generally known as lecturers, senior lecturers and readers. In some Commonwealth countries such as Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, the title associate professor can be used instead of reader. In some countries, Senior lecturers are generally paid the same as readers, but the latter is awarded primarily for research excellence, and traditionally carries higher prestige. A few UK universities have recently begun using the Australian terminology, with both senior lecturers, and readers now being called associate professors. Traditionally, heads of departments and other senior academic leadership roles within a university were undertaken by professors. The University of Western Australia has recently changed the terminology, with lecturers now being called assistant professors, senior lecturers now being called associate professors, associate professors now being called professors, and professors now being called Winthrop professors. During the 1990s, however, the University of Oxford introduced titles of distinction, enabling their holders to be termed professors or readers while holding academic posts at the level of lecturer. This results in a two-tier professoriate, with statutory professors, 
or named chairs, having higher status than the relatively recently created category of titular professors. Similar hierarchies among the professoriate exist in a small number of other UK universities. The University of Exeter, University of Reading, and University of Warwick have adopted the style of associate professor in lieu of reader. The varied practices these changes have brought about has meant that academic ranks in the United Kingdom and in Australia are no longer quite as consistent as they once were. The same trend to move towards the North American system is also observed in the former British colony of Hong Kong. Academic ranks there are now becoming more consistent again, with the University of Hong Kong, the oldest university in the territory, having switched to the North American system. In general in the UK the title of professor is reserved for full professors. Lecturers and readers are properly addressed by their academic qualification, doctor for a PhD DPHIL etc. and Mr. Mrs. Miss Miss otherwise. In New Zealand and Singapore associate professors are by courtesy addressed as professor. In official functions, however, associate professors are addressed as doctor or associate professors and not professors. As in the USA. The title of Professor Emeritus may be awarded to a retired or former professor, who may well retain formal or informal links with the institution where the chair was formerly held. Named Professorships Many professorships are named in honor of a distinguished person or after the person who endowed the chair. Some chairs have a long history and considerable prestige attached, such as the Gresham Professorships, which date back to the 16th century. Regius Professorships or the Lucasian Professor of Mathematics. Some academic societies and professional institutions also award or designate certain post holders or members as professor usually being personal awards. The College of Teachers, formerly the College of Preceptors, is a long-standing example of this as are the amalgamated bodies included in the Society of Teachers and Business Education. Professors of Music, Music Teachers Somewhat confusingly, instructors at many music conservatoires in the UK are known as professors. For example Professor of Violin. This designation is quite different from the standard British use of the term and has more in common with the American usage, where the term is applied to any instructor at a college or university. Related to this usage, small-town music teachers, even if they held no degrees, were sometimes called professors in years past in the United States. In the United Kingdom and Ireland the term professor is properly and in formal situations given to singing and instrumental tutors in the music colleges slash conservatories of music, usually the older and more august ones, the Royal College of Music, Royal Academy of Music, Royal Northern College of Music, Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama, Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, Royal Irish Academy of Music, Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Trinity College of Music and Birmingham Conservatoire. The expression has become almost obsolete for singing and instrumental tuition in the universities, however, save for one or two. The same convention applies throughout Europe in the National Colleges of Music. Professors of Fencing, Fencing Coaches The British Academy of Fencing has a five-level series of qualifications in each of the three weapons, with the highest being diploma level. Those qualifying at this level in one or two weapons may use the title Metra Describe, Master of Fencing. Those qualifying at diploma level in all three weapons become Masters of the Academy and may use the title Professor. United States The term Professors in the United States refers to a group of educators at the college and university level. In the United States, while professor is a proper noun, with a capital P generally implies a position title, the common noun professor appropriately describes anyone teaching at the college level, regardless of rank. Also, as a pre-nominal title of address, it can be capitalized without implying the title rank, and is properly so used in direct address. At some junior colleges without a formal ranking system, all instructors are accorded the courtesy title of professor. Tenured and tenure track positions. These full time faculty members engage in both undergraduate and graduate teaching, mentoring, research, and service. 
only faculty in these positions are eligible for tenure. Assistant Professor, an introductory level professor. A position generally taken after receiving a PhD and often, especially in the sciences, completing a postdoctoral fellowship. After four to eight years, assistant professors may be either tenured or dismissed from the university. Associate Professor, a mid-level, usually tenured, professor, professor, sometimes referred to as full professor or senior, tenured professor, distinguished professor or endowed chair, for example, the Brian S. Smith Professor of Physics an honorary position in which a full professor's salary may be increased, perhaps by being tied to an endowment derived from the university, private individuals, firms, or foundations. The top administrative post in many academic departments is the department chair. Prior to the 1970s, such administrators were called chairmen, or chairwomen, but the term in most institutions has since been shortened to the gender-neutral chair. While many department chairs also hold endowed chair positions, the two positions are distinct. Educators who hold a formal title of professor, referred to as tenure-tenure-track faculty, typically begin their careers as assistant professors, or lecturers, and senior lecturers with subsequent promotions to the ranks of associate professor and finally professor. The titles are historical traditions. For example, it is not implied that an assistant professor assists more senior faculty. There is often a strict timeline for application for promotion from assistant to associate professor, most often five or six years following the initial appointment. Applicants are evaluated based on their contributions to research, teaching, and administration. The relative weightings of these contributions differ by institution, with PhD granting universities usually placing more emphasis on research and liberal arts colleges placing more emphasis on teaching. The decision to grant tenure and promotion from assistant to associate professor usually requires numerous levels of approval, with a common sequence being external reviewers. Several nationally or internationally prominent academics in the candidate's field will be asked to review the candidate's application for promotion and submit a confidential report. Based on this report and evidence of the candidate's accomplishments in his or her curriculum vitae, a committee of members from the candidate's department will make a recommendation for tenure promotion or denial of such. The department will vote. The department decision is communicated to a university panel of individuals from outside of the department who evaluate the application and decide whether they agree or disagree with the departmental recommendation, the dean, the board of governors president or other upper-level governing body. A decision to reject a candidate for tenure normally requires that the individual leave the institution within a year. Otherwise, tenure is granted along with promotion from assistant to associate professor. Although tenure and promotion are usually separate decisions, they are often highly correlated such that a decision to grant a promotion coincides with a decision in favor of tenure, and vice versa. Promotion to associate professor usually results in an increased administrative load and membership on committees that are restricted to tenured faculty. Some people remain at the level of associate professor throughout their careers. However, most will apply for the final promotion to full professor. The timeline for making this application is more flexible than that for assistant to associate positions and the associate professor does not normally lose his her job if the application is rejected. As with promotion from assistant to associate professor, promotion from associate to full professor involves review at multiple levels, similar to the earlier tenure promotion review. This includes external reviews decisions by the department, recommendations by members of other departments, and high-ranking university officials. Usually, this final promotion requires that the individual has maintained an active research program, and excellent teaching, in addition to taking a leadership role in important departmental and extra-departmental administrative tasks. Full professor is the highest rank that a professor can achieve, other than in a named position, and is seldom achieved before a person reaches their mid-forties. The rank of full professor carries additional administrative responsibilities associated with membership on committees that are restricted to full professors. Two-year community colleges that award tenure often use the professor ranking system as well. Candidates for tenure at those institutions would not normally need to hold a PhD, only the degree necessary, usually a master's, 
for employment as an instructor. Non-tenure track positions Individuals in these positions typically, though not always, focus on teaching undergraduate courses, do not engage in research, except in the case of research professors, may or may not have administrative or service roles, and sometimes are eligible for job security that is less strong than tenure. They may still use the pre-nominal title professor, and be described by the common noun professor, whether or not the position title contains the term. Likewise, the term instructor is very generic and can be applied to any teacher, or it can be a specific title, tenure or tenure track, depending upon how an institution chooses to use the term. Teaching Assistant, TA, Graduate Teaching Assistant, GTA, Course Assistant, CA, Teaching Fellow, TF, or Graduate Student Instructor, GSI, positions typically held by graduate students. TAs play a supportive role involving grading, review sessions, and labs. Teaching Fellows, and at some universities, TAs or GSIs, teach entire courses. In any event, these positions are notably not considered faculty positions, and never vote in faculty elections or serve on faculty committees, etc. even at institutions where part-time faculty may do so. Even their teaching is considered part of their training as students at the university, adjunct professor lecturer instructional or sessional lecturer, part-time, non-salaried, faculty members who are paid for each particular class they teach. This position tends to involve professionals employed elsewhere full-time, or retired professionals, and may be somewhat more likely to have a practical professional emphasis rather than a scholarly emphasis. Lecturer, a full-time or part-time position at a university that does not involve tenure or formal research obligations, although sometimes they choose to perform research, but can often involve administrative service roles. When an irregular, long-term salaried position of at least some minimal appointment level, for example half-time, it may include voting and other privileges. This position often involves a focus on undergraduate and or introductory courses, sometimes as a cost savings measure due to the lower salaries compared to tenure track positions. In some colleges, the term senior lecturer is used for highly qualified or accomplished lecturers. A convention some schools have begun to use is the title teaching professor, with or without ranks, to clarify that these are in fact true faculty members who simply do not have research obligations, collegiate or teaching or clinical professor, with or without ranks, a recent title with many different variations, sometimes dependent upon rank, these instructors may hold parallel ranks as their tenure track counterparts, that is, teaching assistant professor, teaching associate professor, and, full, teaching professor, at institutions whose policy is to only provide tenure to those who do research. In professional fields where such positions typically involve a practical or skills-based emphasis, for example medicine, law, engineering, they may be titled as clinical professors, studio professors, in architecture and design, or industry professors, in fields such as engineering and technology. A similar recent title that has come into use is Professor of Practice, Visiting Professor, with or without ranks, a, a Temporary Assistant Associate Full Professor position, see above, for example to cover the teaching load of a faculty member on sabbatical, b, a professor on leave who is invited to serve as a member of the faculty of another college or university for a limited period of time, often an academic year, Research Professor, with or without ranks, a position that usually carries only research duties with no obligation for teaching. Research professors usually have no salary commitment from their institution and must secure their salary from external funding sources such as grants and contracts. These are often known as soft money positions. Although research professor positions usually are not eligible to be awarded tenure, their ranks parallel those of tenure track or analogously instructional only positions, that is, research assistant professor, research associate professor, and, full, research professor. Retired faculty Retired faculty may retain formal or informal links with their university, such as library privileges or office space. At some institutions faculty who have retired after achieving the rank of professor are given the title professor emeritus, male, 
or Professor Emerita, female. Historical Islamic usage In Muslim civilization, the chair was designated by the caliph himself. Mostly through recommendation, the caliph made appointments to a professorial chair, kursi in Arabic, in a jami, university or congregational madrasa. Such was the case of Ibn Qab, died 1119 CE, who was appointed to a well-known chair in Jami al-Mansa, Baghdad, becoming the main teacher of the madrasa. In other cases, a scholar could be appointed to two chairs at the same time, holding a chair in one jami and simultaneously holding another in another jami or in one of the exclusive institutions. This is the case of particularly distinguished and popular scholars. For example a certain Ibn al-Banna, d. 1079, had a chair in Jami al-Mansa, Baghdad, located in the center of the Riwak, nave of the mosque, while simultaneously holding another in Jami al-Khoz, also Baghdad, around the Maksura, a separate room inside the mosque. Some chairs were also known by the discipline they represented. As, for instance, the chair or study circle of the traditionalists, Hulked al al Hadith, and that of the grammarians, Hulked al Nahuyin. Others were known by the name of the family whose members occupied it in succession. As, for instance, the chair of the Barmakids, Hulked al Baramaka. Sometimes institutions were specialized in particular study and therefore received a corresponding chair, for example, the Nizamah did not have a chair of Islamic theology, but only a chair of Islamic law. As to tenure of the chair, once a professor was appointed by the caliph to a chair in one of the main madrasas, Jamir, he ordinarily held it for the remainder of his lifetime. Cases of lengthy tenure are often reported by biographers, for example Abu al-Qahtani, d. 1061, who was in his 80s when he died, had occupied his chair for 50 years. According to George Macdesey and Hugh Goddard, the fact that we still talk of professors holding the chair of their subject is based on the traditional Islamic pattern of teaching where the professor sits on a chair and the students sit around him, and the term academic circles derives from the way Islamic students sat in a circle around their professor. The term professor itself is believed a translation of the Arabic term mufti, which meant professor of legal opinions. Salary in interest of an expert's report from 2005 of the Deutsche Hochschulverband DHV, a lobby of the German professors, the salary of professors in the United States, Germany and Switzerland is as follows. The annual salary of a German professor is EU 46,680 in Group W2, mid-level, and EU 56,683 in Group W3, the highest level, without performance-related bonuses. The anticipated average earnings with performance-related bonuses for a German professor is EU 71,500. The anticipated average earnings of a professor working in Switzerland vary for example between 158,953 Swiss francs, EU 102,729 to 232,073 Swiss francs, E 149,985 at the University of Zurich and 187,937 Swiss francs, E 121,461 to 247,280 Swiss francs, E 159,774 at the ETH Zurich. The regulations are different depending on the cantons of Switzerland. The salaries of civil servant professors in Spain are fixed on a nationwide basis, but there are some bonus related to performance and seniority and a number of bonus granted by regional governments. These bonus mean significant differences in the final salary. Son of the bonus are the trineos, depending on seniority, one for each three years, quinquineos, depending on the accomplishment of teaching criteria defined by the university, one for each five years of seniority and six años, depending on the accomplishment of research criteria defined by the national government, one for each six years of seniority. These bonifications are quite small. However, the total number of six años is a requisite for being a member of different committees. The importance of these six años as a prestige factor in the university was increased by the LU 2001. Some indicative numbers can be interesting, in spite of the variance in the data. 
we report net monthly payments, after taxes and social security fees, without bonifications, a udanti, 1,200 euros. A udanti doctor, 1,400. Contratado doctor, 1,800. Professor titular, 2,000 euros. Catedratico, 2,400 euros. There are a total of 14 payments per year, including two extra payments in July and December, but for less than a normal monthly payment, professors in teacher education sometimes earn less than they would if they were still elementary classroom teachers. In one case study report, it was shown that a beginning full-time tenure-track assistant professor in elementary teacher education at California State University, Northridge was hired in 2002 at a salary of $53,000 which was $15,738. Less than she would have earned in her previous position as a nine-month public school kindergarten teacher, $68,738. See Gordon, L.M. 2004, January 6. From kindergarten teacher to college professor, a comparison chart of salaries, workload, and professional preparation requirements. Published Proceedings of the Hawaii International Conference on Education. ISSN No. 1541-5880. In 2007 the Dutch Social Fund for the Academic Sector SOFO Kleis commissioned a comparative study of the wage structure of academic professions in the Netherlands in relation to that of other countries. Among the countries reviewed are the United States, Great Britain, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, France, Sweden and the Netherlands. To improve comparability adjustments have been made to correct for purchasing power and taxes. Because of differences between institutions in the US and UK these countries have two listings of which one denotes the salary in top tier institutions, based on the Shanghai ranking, the table below shows the final reference wages expressed in net amounts of Dutch euros, that is converted into Dutch purchasing power. In fiction As portrayed in fiction in accordance with this stereotype, professors are often depicted as being shy and absent-minded. Obvious examples include the 1961 movie The Absent-Minded Professor, or Professor Calculus who features in the adventures of Tintin stories. Professors have also been portrayed as being misguided, such as Professor Metz, who helped the villain Blofeld in the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever. Or simply evil, like Professor Moriarty, who is the archenemy of Sherlock Holmes. Animated series Futurama has a typical absent-minded but genius Professor Hubert Farnsworth. See also Mad Scientist. Vladimir Nabokov, author and professor of English at Cornell, frequently used professors as the protagonists in his novels. Professor Henry Higgins is also a main character in My Fair Lady. In the popular Harry Potter series, a few students are the most important characters, but all their teachers are known as professors, who play many important parts. In the board game Cluedo, Professor Plum has been depicted as absent-minded. In the movie, see Clue, film, Professor Plum was a psychologist, who had an affair with one of his patients. He was played by Christopher Lloyd. An example of a fictional professor not depicted as shy or absent-minded is Indiana Jones a professor as well as an archaeologist adventurer. The character generally referred to simply as the professor on the television series, Gilligan's Island, although described alternatively as a high school science teacher or research scientist, is depicted as a sensible advisor, a clever inventor, and a helpful friend to his fellow castaways. John Houseman's portrayal of law school professor Charles W. Kingsfield, Jr., in The Paper Chase, 1973, remains the epitome of the strict, authoritarian professor who demands perfection from students. Mysterious, older men with magical powers, and unclear academic standing, are sometimes given the title of professor in literature and theatre. Notable examples include Professor Marvel in The Wizard of Oz and Professor Droselmia, as he is sometimes known, from the ballet The Nutcracker. Also, the magician played by Christian Bale in the film, The Prestige adopts the professor as his stage name. A variation of this type of non-academic professor is the crackpot inventor, 
as portrayed by Professor Potts in the film version of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or the Jerry Lewis-inspired Professor Frink character on The Simpsons. Other professors of this type are the thoughtful and kind Professor Digory Kirk of C.S. Lewis Chronicles of Narnia. The title has been used by comedians, such as Professor Erwin Quarry and Soupy Sales in his role as the big professor. In the past, pianists in saloons and other rough environments have been called professor. The puppeteer of a Punch and Judy show is also traditionally known as a professor. The stereotype of a professor is an aloof individual with a narrow range of intense interests led Hans Asperger to call children with Asperger's syndrome little professors or relationship with the university. Emeritus professor is a title bestowed upon a retired person who has rendered distinguished service to the university. They have nearly always held the title of professor at the university. Half the universities in one study specified that the person needed to have served at least 10 years at the university. Some universities have other titles such as Emeritus Educator and Emeritus Scholar. Once the Emeritus Professor title is bestowed, the title is normally for life, though it can be repealed for failing to abide by university regulations. Bangladesh Teachers are categorized in four main classes in Bangladesh at university level. The ascending rank of teacher is lecturer, assistant professor, associate professor and professor. The initial position lecturer is generally enrolled as the top student of the class. Master's degree is required for normal university level lecturer. After PhD, the appointment starts with assistant professor, then gradually associate professor and professor depending on research teaching experience. Beside these, professor of emeritus is given to extraordinary professor after their retirement. Brazil and Portugal See more on, Academic Rank Brazil, Academic Rank Portugal in Portugal, France, Italy, Romania and Latin America, Spanish and Portuguese speaking, the term professor, professor slash professor slash professor slash professor is used for anyone teaching at a school, institute, technical school, vocational school, college or university, regardless of the level of the subject matter taught or the level or ages of students. This includes instructors at the grade elementary school, middle school and high school levels. However, a professor who teaches at a university is specifically called professor universitario, university professor, but it is common to call university professors just professor. As subtypes of professors the following are distinguished. Professor Catedratico, Portugal, slash Professor Titular, Brazil, full professor. It is the highest faculty position. Professor Associado, Portugal and Brazil, Associate Professor. In Portugal, this position is open by public competition among assistant professors and people with PhD for at least five years. In Brazil, it refers to a faculty member who has completed a habilitation thesis in public examination, Professor Adjunto, Portugal and Brazil, this tenured position is an intermediate position between associate and assistant professor, requiring a PhD. Professor Auxilia, Portugal and Brazil, professor requiring only a master's in the beginning of his her career. In Portugal it requires SPHD or a SJD, after a five-year contract, may become a professor associado or dismiss the university. Professor Substituto, it is a replacement teacher with a short-term contract for replacement of professors on maternity leaves, sabbatical years or other temporary situations. Professor Visitante, the same as visiting professor. Usually conducts research as an obligation from its contract and so needs a PhD. Canada In Canada, where a major distinction is made between college and university level education, the term professor is generally restricted to use Professor A professor is a scholarly teacher. The precise meaning of the term varies by country. Literally, Professor derives from Latin as a person who professes being usually an expert in arts or sciences, a teacher of high rank. In much of the world, including most Commonwealth nations and Northern Europe professor is reserved only for the most senior academics at a university, typically a department chair, or an award a chair specifically bestowed recognizing an individual at a university or similar institution. 
a professor is a highly accomplished and recognized academic, and the title is in most cases awarded only after decades of scholarly work to senior academics. In the United States and Canada the title of professor is granted to a larger percentage, about a quarter, of scholars with doctorate degrees or equivalent qualifications who teach in two and four-year colleges and universities, and is used in the titles assistant professor and associate professor, which are not considered professor-level positions in many other countries, as well as for full professors. Beyond holding the proper academic title, universities in many countries also append famous artists, athletes and foreign dignitaries with the title honorary professor, even if these persons don't have the academic qualifications typically necessary for professorship. However, such professors usually do not undertake academic work for the granting institution. Tasks Professors are qualified experts who generally perform the following. Manage the teaching, research and publications in their departments, in countries where a professor is head of a department, conduct lectures and seminars in their specialities, that is, they profess, such as the fields of mathematics, science, humanities, social sciences, education, literature, music or the applied fields of engineering, design, medicine, law, or business, perform advanced research in their fields, provide pro bono community service, including consulting functions, such as advising government and non-profit organizations, teach campus-based or online courses adopting instructional technology, mentor graduate students in their academic training, conduct administrative or managerial functions, usually at a high level, for example deans, heads of departments, librarians, etc., assess students in their fields of expertise. Online courses are often taught by adjunct instructors, with advanced degrees. Adjunct instructors are often not involved in program design, accreditation reports, or many of the other duties that fall within the purview of tenured, or more senior faculty members. Tenured professors also offer courses online. Other roles of professorial tasks depend on the institution, its legacy, protocols, place, country, and time. For example, professors at research-oriented universities in the U.S., Canada and, generally, at European universities, are promoted primarily on the basis of research achievements and external fundraising success. Depending on the professor's professional status, expertise, and tenure, he or she may also serve as a public intellectual, offering opinions to media and in other forums on current events, controversies, and other complex matters that may require erudite within universities. Tenured and tenure track positions These full-time faculty members engage in both undergraduate and graduate teaching, mentoring, research, and service. Only faculty members in these positions are eligible for tenure. Assistant professor, an introductory level professor. A position generally taken after receiving a PhD and completing a postdoctoral fellowship. After four to eight years, Assistant professors will be either tenured or dismissed from the university. Associate professor, a mid-level, usually tenured, professor, professor, sometimes referred to as full professor or senior, tenured professor, distinguished professor or endowed chair. For example, the Brian S. Smith Professor of Physics an honorary position in which a full professor's salary may be increased, perhaps by being tied to an endowment derived from the university, private individuals, firms, or foundations. The top administrative post in many academic departments is the department chair. Prior to the 1970s, such administrators were called chairmen, or chairwomen, but the term in most institutions has since been shortened to the gender-neutral chair. While many department chairs also hold endowed chair positions, the two positions are distinct. Educators who hold a formal title of professor, referred to as tenure-tenure-track faculty, typically begin their careers as assistant professors, or lecturers, and senior lecturers with subsequent promotions to the ranks of associate professor and finally professor. The titles are historical traditions. For example, it is not implied that an assistant professor assists more senior faculty. 
there is often a strict timeline for application for promotion from assistant to associate professor, most often five or six years following the initial appointment. Applicants are evaluated based on their contributions to research, teaching, and administration. The relative weightings of these contributions differ by institution, with PhD granting universities usually placing more emphasis on research and liberal arts colleges placing more emphasis on teaching. The decision to grant tenure and promotion from assistant to associate professor usually requires numerous levels of approval, with a common sequence being external reviewers. Several nationally or internationally prominent academics in the candidate's field will be asked to review the candidate's application for promotion and submit a confidential report, based on this report and evidence of the candidate's accomplishments in his or her curriculum vitae, a committee of members from the candidate's department will make a recommendation for tenure promotion or denial of such, the department will vote, the department decision is communicated to a university panel of individuals from outside of the department who evaluate the application and decide whether they agree or disagree with the departmental recommendation, the dean, the board of governors president or other upper level governing body. A decision to reject a candidate for tenure normally requires that the individual leave the institution within a year. Otherwise, tenure is granted along with promotion from assistant to associate professor. Although tenure and promotion are usually separate decisions, they are often highly correlated such that a decision to grant a promotion coincides with a decision in favor of tenure, and vice versa. Promotion to associate professor usually results in an increased administrative load and membership on committees that are restricted to tenured faculty. Some people remain at the level of associate professor throughout their careers. However, most will apply for the final promotion to full professor. The timeline for making this application is more flexible than that for assistant to associate positions and the associate professor does not normally lose his her job if the application is rejected. As with promotion from assistant to associate professor, promotion from associate to full professor involves review at multiple levels, similar to the earlier tenure promotion review. This includes external reviews, decisions by the department, recommendations by members of other departments, and high-ranking university officials. Usually, this final promotion requires that the individual has maintained an active research program, and excellent teaching in addition to taking a leadership role in important departmental and extra-departmental administrative tasks. Full professor is the highest rank that a professor can achieve, other than in a named position, and is seldom achieved before a person reaches their mid-forties. The rank of full professor carries additional administrative responsibilities associated with membership on committees that are restricted to full professors. Non-tenured track positions Individuals in these positions typically, though not always, focus on teaching undergraduate courses, do not engage in research, except in the case of research professors, may or may not have administrative or service roles, and sometimes are eligible for job security that is less strong than tenure. They may still use the pre-nominal title professor, and be described by the common noun professor, whether or not the position title contains the term. Likewise. The term instructor is very generic and can be applied to any teacher, or it can be a specific title, tenure or tenure track, depending upon how an institution chooses to use the term. Teaching Assistant, TA, Graduate Teaching Assistant, GTA, Course Assistant, CA, Teaching Fellow, TF, or Graduate Student Instructor, GSI, positions typically held by graduate students. TAs play a supportive role involving grading, review sessions, and labs. Teaching fellows, and at some universities, TAs or GSIs, teach entire courses. Adjunct instructor slash adjunct professor slash adjunct lecturer slash sessional lecturer, primarily Canadian, part-time, non-salaried, non-tenure track faculty members who are paid for each class they teach. This position tends to involve professionals employed elsewhere full-time or retired professionals, and does not always require a completed PhD, lecturer instructor, a full-time or part-time position at a university that does not involve tenure or formal research obligations, although sometimes they choose to perform research, but can often involve administrative service roles. 
This position does not necessarily require a doctoral degree and usually involves a focus on undergraduate and or introductory courses. In some colleges the term senior lecturer is awarded to highly qualified or accomplished lecturers. A convention some schools have begun to use is the title teaching professor, with or without ranks, to clarify that these are in fact true faculty members who simply do not have research obligations, visiting professor, with writ illumination. Tenure A tenured professor has an appointment that lasts until retirement age, except for dismissal with due cause. A common justification for existence of such an unusually privileged position is the principle of academic freedom, which holds that it is beneficial for state, society and academy in the long run if scholars are free to examine, hold, and advance controversial views without fear of dismissal from their jobs. Some argue that modern tenure systems actually diminish academic freedom, forcing those seeking tenured positions to profess conformance to the same views, political and academic, as those awarding the tenured professorships. According to physicist Lee Smolin, it is practically career suicide for a young theoretical physicist not to join the field. This may be even more so now that many universities require several years in non-tenure track positions, for example visiting assistant professorships or postdoctoral fellowships, before beginning the five to six year process preceding tenure. Another argument against tenure is that tenured professors underperforming in research or teaching cannot be terminated, so typical performance-oriented management techniques from the business world such as reviews, audits, and incentive-based salaries are the only tools available, as the threat of firing does not exist without due cause. Nevertheless, many tenured faculty members are expected to and most do obtain research funding. Around the world Australia The system of academic titles and ranks in Australia follows the British system. There are five levels, A.E. These are Leveler, Tutor, Level B, Lecturer, Level C, Senior Lecturer, Level D, Reader Associate Professor, Level E, Professor. These levels correspond to salary levels set by the Australian Government's Higher Education Academic Salaries Award. 2002. There has been a significant increase in academics at Level D and E, Associate Professor and Professor, in recent years. The number of academics at these levels increased by 70% from 1996 to 2008. In order to receive the title of Professor, the applicant must pass each university's minimum standards statements and promotion policies, which are derived from the Higher Education Academic Salaries Award. Three key attributes are examined, recognition, distinction and leadership. Leadership in research is arguably the most important. Some universities also expect leadership in developing the curriculum and in the teaching and management of staff and students. The difference between professor and associate professor is that there is less of an imperative to demonstrate leadership qualities for the title of associate professor. Still, in order to receive the title, it is required that the applicant has made an outstanding contribution and that the applicant is usually recognized at a national or international level. In some universities, the title of professor and associate professor can also be conferred with appointment to a senior management position without the need for an extensive academic record or a research higher degree. This has been criticized. Adjunct and conjoint professor is an honorary title bestowed upon a person to formally recognize that person's non-employment special